Let's prepare on the TNEBAE 2018 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question 106. A 2% solution of a sewage sample is incubated for 3 days at 27 degrees Celsius and the depletion of oxygen was found to be 4 mg per litre. What is the BOD at 27 degrees Celsius of the sample? So here the temperature is same only so no problem. The simple formula could be used here. That is the uh, depletion of the oxygen into the dilution factor so this is the formula for finding the pod at third day or fifth day okay so here the uh, depletion of oxygen they have given directly in some questions they will be giving the initial pod uh, initial oxygen and the final oxygen like that they will be giving so here they have given that answer directly itself that is 4 milligram per liter so 4 into the dilution factor so dilution factor means uh, to what volume of soil uh, sorry what volume of water uh, what volume of the sample is diluted okay so if you are taking some 5 uh, ml of sample and if you are diluting it to 1000 ml means you should write 1000 by 5 okay so that is the general procedure for di uh, writing the dilution factor but here they have given the 2 percentage solution okay so 2 percentage means out of 100 only 2 percentages of the sample okay so you should write as 100 divided by so if it is given in percentage means you can directly write like this. So 4 into 100 by 2. So it is 200. Option A is the right answer. Question 107. A sample of mixed liquid was found to have a suspended solids of 4500 milligram per liter and after setting for 30 minutes in a 1 liter cylinder. It occupied 300 ml. So they have asked the sludge volume index. So sludge volume index means that the actual formula is how much amount of the uh, volume it is occupied in 2000 divided by the suspended solids okay so here the volume occupied after setting they have given us 300 so 300 in 2000 divided by the suspended solids is 4500 so you will get the answer as 300 by 45 so you will get 100 and 15 so 1000 by 15 1000 by 15 is 67 so option 2 then question 108 the trickling filter sizing criteria is based on what so here hydraulic loading overflow rate detention time and flow rate detention time won't be there at all because that is not going to decide the sizing and trickling filter Overrate flow and flow rate is a general term. So here if you concentrate on the hydraulic loading means this is a very important character in the trickling filters uh, process. So here this only decides the sizing criteria. So option 1 is the right answer. Question 109. An industry is having two machines each will generate 70 decibel noise. If both the machines are operated simultaneously what will be the total noise generated from the machines okay so actually this answer can be written directly uh, based on the formulas given in the gar but i will tell you how to solve that with the formula also okay so this is the formula the decibel uh, given in the question that is whatever decibel it may be which it should be equal to 20 log of p rms by 20 Okay, so this 20 is nothing but it is the standard uh, uh, pressure it is always noted for the noise calculations. P RMS means it is the pressure that is root mean square of the pressure. Okay, so now we want to find this P RMS for the given uh, decibel value that is 70 is given in our question. Okay, so we, have, we can take 70 is equal to 20 log of P RMS by 20. So now we want to find P RMS. No, so we have to take anti log then only we can do that. So this cannot be done uh, without the cal calculators. So uh, these type of questions won't be asked in uh, TNEB or uh, TNEB or TNPSC questions. But here there is a trick here which is uh, uh, used for finding the answers directly. So that I will tell in the end of this uh, lecture. So here log PRMS by 20 is equal to 70 by 20. I have taken 20 that side. When you are taking anti log PRMS by 20 will be equal to anti log of 70 by 20. So PRMS will be equal to 63246 mu pascal. Okay, so this will be your 
PRMS. Now with respect to this PRMS, this is for 170 decibel only this PRMS. Okay. In the question they have given there are two machines with 70 decibels each. So we want to find the PRMS for together for two machines of 70 decibel. So the procedure is again there for that. So if you see here 70 plus 70 for two machines root of that value we have found prms no so root of that 63246 square plus 63246 square will give you 89443.4 mu pascal so this will be your combined prms value for both the machines now we can find this answer in the previous formula itself that is 20 log of prms by 20 no so now the answer will be 20 log of this 89443.4 by 20 so that will give you 73 mu pascal so this is your answer here so now i have told you no, there is a, a short uh, trick here to find the answer so what does that means whatever may be the noise pollution or noise level if it is added with the same number means it will be the combined effect will be added by 3 only okay so here in the question they have given 70 plus 70 no so we got 73 but if you are if they have given us 50 means also you will be getting 53 only okay so you can check this you can use the same formula to find it again and you can check it so that only they have asked in the tneb questions so if if you know about this formula you can directly click the answer 73 without even doing all these process so here option 2 is the right answer 110 for the same solid content if the quantity of sludge with moisture content of 98 percentage is x then the quantity of sludge with moisture content of 96 percentage will be what so here the formula is volume 2 will be equal to 100 minus p1 by 100 minus p2 into v1 so p is the pressure percentage here okay so here 100 minus 98 is the first percentage when it is reduced to 96 that is p2 100 minus 96 into v1 okay so it is 2 by 4 into v1 so 2 by 4 it is 1 by 2 so v1 by 2 so the volume given for the first case is x that is only given in the question so x by 2 will be your answer here so option 2 is the right answer then question 111 cyclone separator is used to remove the particulate matter okay so this is uh, this will be removing a higher size particles only so this is not specifically uh, it will not remove any other elements like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and all so the general particulate matters can be easily removed by this cyclone separator 112 in plane table surveying the accessory used for citing the target so here for citing the target it is alleated only it's one and for plumbing fork it is to centering uh, the paper that is the paper we'll be using in ta plane table no so that if you are centering a point to the ground means for that we'll be using this plumbing fork trough compass sectant so these are for finding the angles only question 113 the telescope tube and this vertical spindle are cast together in the dumpy level so in dumpy level only this happens and then the formula for which calculates the volume of earthwork accurately so this volume of earthwork you'll be seeing in the um, surveying at the last unit okay so there are different formulas for finding the areas and volumes but the very accurate method to find the volume is the prismoidal formula only question 115 the main principle of surveying is to from hole to part so this we know already because from hole to part if you are coming means only the error will be minimum so it is minimized here 116 in third lights parallax can be removed by so here it should be removed by the refocusing the eyepiece and the objective so option one Question number 117, 30 meter metric chain is found to be 10 centimeter too short throughout a measurement. If the distance measured is recorded as 300 meter, what is the actual distance? So here they have given it as 10 centimeter shorter. So the tape or the metric chain is not 30 meter. It is 29.9 meter because it is 10 centimeter short. So that 29.9 divided by 30 that is the original metric chain we have considered while measuring no so that you should write in the bottom into the measured distance so it is 300 
so 30 300 you will get 10 so 229.9 into 10 it is 299 meter so option 3 is the right answer so here if they have given us 10 centimeter it is long then you should write us 30.1 divided by 30 into 300 okay so that is the general procedure for finding closed contours of decreasing values towards their center represent what okay so contours decreasing values in the center so when the decreasing values in center means itself it will be like this only so it is a valley here they have given us depression so you can go for the option 2 if they are given us uh, decreasing values towards the outer and increasing values in the top in the center means it will be like this so you can go for a hill like structure and then 119 profile leveling is usually done for determining what so here option 2 is the right answer so here profile leveling is usually done for determining what so this profile line, lining leveling means itself it is for the elevations along a straight line only we do this leveling and then 120 if whole circle bearing of a line is 120 degree its reduced bearing is what okay so normally we will do like this it is north south east and west they have given us 120 degrees so always whole be a whole circle bearing will be from the north only so 120 so here it is 90 90 plus 30 will give you 120 so this is your line now so the remaining angle here is 60 okay so we have to either take from north or from south for the reduced bearing here the line is nearer to the south only so you should take south 60 degree towards the east so it is south 60 degree east option 2 so that's all with the uh, civil engineering part of this tneb questions in the next sections we'll be seeing the basic engineering science and mathematics also thank you and keep watching